Good evening, everyone. I'm Chandra Scott. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. The Louisiana Child Nutrition Program website allows authorized users to submit and approve applications, claims, and miscellaneous forms via the internet as their security rights permit. Once an application has been submitted or approved by the Louisiana Department of Education, the information is locked and no changes can be made. Let's discuss how to access the CMP website and the steps needed to make changes to the submitted approved applications. Sorry about that. Okay, let's discuss when and a an amendment to your online application is needed to adjust the number of meals uh, served ADP at a given site for any approved meal service, to adjust the meal service times at a site, to change the days of operation program length to include addition and or deletion of the days, such as holidays and early cl closures. The start and end dates on this page should reflect the first day you serve meals under the summer feeding program and the last day of meal served for the summer. When enter the site application later on, all of those sites start and end date must fall within the start and end dates on the first page. Again, if your program dates change, it is very important for you to update these dates to ensure you can get reimbursed for meal served. If extending your program, the end date must be updated prior to the, to the end date that was originally approved. In other words, we cannot backdate SFSP applications. Also, add or delete participating sites. The last revision the last reason why you might need to create a revision is when you might when you make adjustments to the budget. For example, additional uh, less allocation for a given line item. Thus, a change to the facility application equals change to a sponsor application. When in doubt, always amend the sponsor application and submit it along with the revised facility application. Excuse me. We will discuss this in more details later in the presentation. All amendments to the uh, sponsor application, site facility application, and or SFSP claims must be done in the CMP website. Sponsors are responsible for notifying the state agency of changes to their, uh, to their program. The requested change is not approved until the status change occurs in the online application submission from submission to approve. Let's begin by explaining how to access the CMP website and how to make the changes needed. This, the CMP address that you see here on your screen uh, must be entered to the address bar. Be careful not to type the address in a search bar. Click uh, the sign in button on the top right of the screen. Now click CMP website. Enter your login name and password and click the orange login button. If you also participate in the National School Lunch Program and the School Breakfast Program or CACFP, the same user ID and password will be used. This information will be sent to the user uh, via email when an account is created and or when the password is reset. An example of the email shown is on the next slide. At the bottom there, you can see your login name and password. And please make sure you do not tell anyone your password and the child nutrition program staff will never ask you your password. The sponsor application screen provides access to the sponsor's annual application for the summer feeding program for both new and renewing sponsors. This application is seven pages in length and some information contained in this application pre-populates and cannot be adjusted by the sponsoring organization. 
to make changes to an approved sponsor application, click on the purple summer feeding tab, click applications. Click sponsor application, click revised application. A tip, the revised option only appears when the previously submitted application package has been approved by the uh, by LDOE. So if your application is in a submit mode, you will not be able to revise that application. It has to be approved first. Click create revision. Create revision, provide an edible uh, version of the sponsored application. In the top left of the screen, the unsubmitted application appears. Initial application appears as revision zero in a revision history. Click on the pages where changes need to be made. Example, staffing page, staffing updates needed will be on page six and the budget updates needed will be on page seven. This application looks different from last year. Last year was only five pages. This year, we added additional pages. Facility application. One facility application to be submitted for approval per proposed feed and location. Each facility, facility application contains four pages. Like page one of the sponsor application, some information pre-populates and cannot be adjusted by the sponsor user. The data entered into the facility application regarding operating days, days of the week, and projected average daily attendance will drive the calculation by the system to system of projected revenue needed to complete the budget. The same editing and submission process is followed when a sponsor needs to make changes to a previously approved application, facility application. The sponsor will click on the applications uh, link to the left-hand side of the screen. And then click on facility application. Once this success, the revised application feature will be available. The sponsor, excuse me. The sponsor will then need to target the site for which a revision is needed and under the actions column, select revise, then go. Most edits made to the facility application also cause changes to the sponsor application. If this occurs, the website will require a sponsor application revision to accompany any facility applications revision. Once the sponsor application revision has been uh, initiated, check Page seven, anticipated budget versus the reimbursement and to, to ensure the changes do not cause the budget to exceed the reimbursement. After saving necessary changes, click on submit applications on the left-hand side of the screen. An amendment will not be effective until it's approved by the state agency. The same is true of initial application. The program is not approved to operate until the status has changed from submitted to approved. The expected level of reimbursement listed in the sponsor application is calculated from the anticipated information in the site application. Changing the length of the operations, the ADP, and or adding or deleting sites or meal offerings will change the anticipated reimbursement. If total number of operational days are increased, decreased for a given site, Site staff, uh, staffing days should be adjusted accordingly. The same applies to the sponsor staffing plan. If adjustments to a site cost the program to run longer, sponsor staffing days will need to adjust. Plan your program in advance to ensure that you are able to, to begin operation as scheduled. Frequently asked questions. The state agents will frequently get calls from uh, SFSP sponsors who are wanting to know the status of the application. Here's how you look, how you can uh, check that information. It is listed in the revision history box. In the screenshot, you will see the sponsor application for ZC sponsor, test sponsor. Revision zero has been approved and revision one is unsubmitted. Once the sponsor submits revision one to LDOE, the status of the revision will change to submitted for approval, and then the last status change will be approved. 
Please remember that when the facility application is approved, an email will be sent to the head of the organization and authorized representative. It is important that you make sure the email address in the CMP data database for these two individuals is current. You may be wondering how to check that. We will discuss later in the presentation. The following revision changes uh, to a facility application will require a revised sponsor application to be submitted along with the edited facility application. Changes to the staffing plan that involve more or less allocation for staff. Changes to the calendar, whether you're deleting or adding additional dates. Uh, changes to the ADP for one or more meal services. Additional deletion of meal services. Approval notice will be sent by email to the head of the organization and chairman of the board listed on the CMP information sheet. Approval to serve SFSP is effective on the date the uh, site application is approved by the state agencies. Meal served at a site that is not yet approved in the CMP website cannot be claimed for reimbursement. For example, if meal service began on Monday, but the site application is not approved until Wednesday, meal served on Monday and Tuesday cannot be claimed or reimbursement. Tips for revising budget information, edit one line item at a time, save it in between. Click in the cell that you wish to update. Next, click on the X that displays to the right of the last information. Report it, this will delete the data. Type in a numeric value that you wish to add using the number sign, numbers only. Click Save at the bottom of the screen. Once saved, the budget should display the new total at the bottom. If additional edits are needed, make them one by one as described above. Always check the final amount in the budget against the anticipated reimbursement to ensure, to ensure that the budget is not greater than the reimbursement. And one thing you need to remember, if once you submit an application, you cannot touch it. It's in a submit mode. We here at the state state agency has we have rights where we can go in and make edits for you. You're more than welcome to call us or send us an email telling us all the different changes that you want, and we'll make those edits for you. Are there any questions? If so, please put them in the chat box. I don't see any questions at this time. If you have not submitted your application, please start on it so we can uh, get those processed early. If you are uh, encounter any problems in between the time you submit your application before your program starts, you have plenty of time to go in and alter those applications. Have a great day.